The town of Greece is located in northern Monroe County, New York, and borders the city of Rochester, the third largest city in New York State, behind New York City and Buffalo. Almost 45 years ago, on the afternoon of the 9th of March 1976, James J. Schiffhauer, a superintendent who was cleaning the basement of an apartment complex on 18 Winston Drive in the town of Greece, Rochester, discovered the skeletal remains of a young child within the confines of a blue metal footlocker, measuring approximately 5 by 7 inches, with the remains of the child wrapped in a large tarpaulin. Schiffhauer was looking to open the locker to see who it belonged to so that he could return it to its owner, though the lock was badly rusted, therefore he had to force it open with a screwdriver. Little did he know that the footlocker contained human remains. Medical examiners determined that the child had been deceased from between six months to one year prior to his discovery, though he may have been there for longer. Initially, investigators believed the child to have been female. However, in 2017, the remains were exhumed and re-examined and it was concluded that the child was in fact male. DNA, pollen and isotope tests were conducted on the young boy and though it was determined at the time that the child was between 20 and 24 months old, more advanced testing revealed that the child was more likely between 3 and 5 years of age. The isotope and pollen tests revealed that John Doe had most likely lived in the northwest of the United States for the first few years of his life, possibly in Washington state, before relocating to the southeast for the remainder of his short life. Unfortunately, it's unclear whether the boy was alive or deceased upon arrival in New York. Extensive inquiries were conducted following the discovery of John Doe's remains, and over 40 tenants who resided within the apartment complex were questioned, but unfortunately none could assist in regards to the grim discovery. Authorities also hit a dead end when they were told that there was not a complete record of previous tenants, therefore they couldn't track any down. According to the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children, the young boy had light brown to black straight hair and was most likely Caucasian. However, this has never been confirmed. He also had black eyelashes. However, his eye colour, weight and height is unknown. DNA and dental records were taken from the boy and his teeth showed cranial surgery had been performed some time prior to his death. Unfortunately, at the time of releasing this video, no match has been found. John Doe was found wearing a light blue woolen pyjama top with a deer or bambi design on the left chest area and he was also wearing a plastic nappy that was fastened with two stainless steel pins with blue heads. Unfortunately, due to the fact that these clothing items were scarcely sold at the time, no further advances in the investigation regarding these items have been made. Something important to note is that the boy had a prominent bulge on the back left region of his skull. Though it is unclear what caused this skull abnormality, medical examiners determined it was not caused by a recent injury and had been present for a prolonged period of time. It is more than likely, however, that the child suffered from developmental deficiencies and probably could not walk as a result. Despite extensive examinations, the boy's ultimate cause of death could not be determined, although medical examiners noted that his bones showed signs of severe malnutrition, which suggests that he may have been harshly neglected in life. 
It should also be noted that found within close proximity of the boy's remains were a white or yellow blanket and a khaki coloured Sears super tarp, which was water and mildew resistant. Following John Doe's exhumation in 2017, the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children created a new up-to-date facial reconstruction of the young boy in the hope that someone somewhere might recognise him. Officially, only one exclusion has been made in this case as of January 2021. Kurt Ronald Newton, aged four, who disappeared on the 1st of September 1975 from Natanis Point Campground in Chain of Ponds in Maine. Kurt had been riding his tricycle that morning before he vanished, though the bike was found in a dump less than a mile away from the campsite. He was never seen again. It is believed that the four-year-old was abducted by a stranger. However, since Kurt vanished, the trail went cold. What happened to Grease John Doe, also known as the boy in the blue box, not to be confused with the well-known boy in the box case, remains a mystery. Who was he and how did he meet his demise? 